As controversy continues to trail Governor Gordon Obaseki's refusal to name his cabinet almost a year after his re-election, details have emerged on why the Edo State Governor has chosen to bide his time. Recall that following his disqualification during the screening of governorship aspirants for the 2020 governorship election over discrepancies in his certificate in the All Progressive Congress APC, Obaseki had defected to the People's Democratic Party PDP. Obaseki, who was first elected in 2016 on the platform of the All Progressive Congress, was reportedly pushed out of the party by the former national chairman of the party, Comrade Adam Soshomole. But since he's swearing in for a second term on November 12, 2020, Obaseki is yet to appoint commission as an order aide. The Edo State Governor has only appointed the Secretary to the State Government, SSG, Chief of Staff, and a few aides. This has, however, caused dissatisfaction among members of the PDP in the Edo State who are expecting to be appointed into the Governor's Cabinet. Sources within the now ruling party told Nigeria News on Friday night that PDP leaders failed to negotiate properly with Obaseki before giving him the party ticket. While stating that the Edo governor allegedly paid billions to secure the party's ticket in 2020, a source who is an old member of the PDP stated that party leaders should have used that opportunity to negotiate for positions with Obaseki, who was desperate at that time. The source accused the Tony Aziegbemi led PDP State Working Committee, SWC, and his predecessor of not negotiating political positions properly. When Obaseki dangled huge amounts of money before them, they forgot about negotiating positions before the election, the source alleged. They are now expecting to hold Obaseki to ransom with appointment after they had collected the money. The source disclosed that Obaseki's delay in naming his commissioners and aides is connected to PDP's leaders' push to get juicy appointments after allegedly receiving huge amounts of money to hand over their gubernatorial ticket. On if the delay is constituting the cabinet, may be giving Obaseki a bad name as many may see him as being too busy. Another source told Niger News that the governor doesn't care. Members of the APC close to the governor had hinted on his character before his defection. Some who had clashed with a lot of people while looking for his second term ticket. What do you expect now that he's gotten it? He asked. The source revealed that some key men close to the governor who served during his first term and were members of the APC are still active in running the administration. According to the source, Governor Baseki might make sure only those that defected with him to the pdp get all juicy position when he finally decides to name his cabinet on if obaseki may leave the pdp the source stated that the governor is not plotting to leave the party but if he does the only losers will be the pdp they have shown that all they care about is just the money they would lose if obaseki or the deputy philip shaibu leaves the party he added Recall that reports had emerged on Monday claiming Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu had perfected plans to dump the PDP. According to reports, marathon meetings were held outside the country last week between the Edo Deputy Governor and some party bigwigs in the country ahead of his planned defection. Philip Shaibu is one man I admire as a political tactician and Maradona in Edo political space. Quitting PDP may frustrate the developmental plans of the Obaseki's administration due to his nuts and both experiences as a voracious student of politics, as well as his staring track record and pedigree as a fearless and charismatic lawmaker, a source had told Vanguard. According to the source, there are strong indications that the deputy governor may not join any other political party immediately after quitting the PDP. But in an interview with Niger News, the Chief Press Secretary CPS to the Deputy Governor Comrade Ebo, Ebo Hanna Musa denied the report. While admitting that Philip Shaibu traveled abroad for his vacation, Musa said his principal only spent time with his family. According to him, the reports of his defection were only the figment of the author's imagination. Governor Baseki's delay in constituting his cabinet has been raising a lot of um, issues of late. 
a lot of concerns have been raised um, in his delay and um, some persons have attributed it to the fact that uh, um, PDP are still in crisis. They've not come out of the crisis. You know, a couple of months ago, the Edo State PDP uh, was in serious crisis to the extent that um, Tony Azegbemi was even suspended. The Edo PDP chairman, Obaseki, reported to Uche Sekondos. Uche Sekondos is even suspended right now. But the party has been going through a lot of crisis and uh, it was as a result of um, the old and new members not feeling secured enough. Well, uh, um, APC, who is now the opposition party in the state, they've spoken about um, Obaseki's um, delay in setting up the cabinet that he's running a sole man ship administrator. A lot of uh, um, concerns have been raised, seriously, seriously. But right now, the shocking one is that um, uh, he's been alleged here that Edo PDP received billions from Obaseki before re-election. And um, they still want to detect cabinet appointees. Now, that is what is causing the delay. That um, You know, Obaseki moved from APC to PDP. And during the consultation period, um, the, the allegations here is that um, during the consultation period, because of the money that was put before the PDP, they were in a hurry. They did not even um, settle a lot of issues like um, uh, cabinet members and all of that who get what. That right now, this is the time after they spent the money, is now they are, they are thinking about um, who gets what. And Obaseki is not ready to dance to their tune. But it's quite shocking because... Um, uh, if uh, they are stating that Obaseki received billions before re-election, we know the good people of Edo State, it wasn't even about PDP. Even if Obaseki um, went to a different party, because as soon as he left APC, as soon as he resigned from APC, the people of Edo State they were saying, Governor, wake and do Governor. Wherever you go, we go with you. So even if the party was a party that um, did not um, have a lot of uh, influence, you know, during the Edo State Governorship election, it wasn't just APC and PDP that contested. There were 14, about 14 political parties. So the reaction at that time was that, Obaseki, uh, you are what we want. If you go to any party, we'll go with you. So this allegation here that uh, Obaseki paid billions um, to get the ticket is really, really surprising. It's quite surprising because the people of Edo State gave Obaseki their mandate. And it was stated that it wasn't even PDP they were giving their mandate. It was the governor. So these allegations come in here that... Uh, he paid, uh, that PDP received billions from Obaseki and they still want to detect the cabinet appointees, that that is what is actually delaying uh, the appointment of uh, cabinet members, commissioners. is shocking. Anyway, my people, let's hear what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.